Alright, hey everyone, Kiwi King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here with a special review video for you guys reviewing the FB17 ice cream sandwich leak on your Samsung Epic 4G Touch. I do have a video showing you how to install this if you have an Epic 4G Touch. I will link to that in the description of the video. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, this is ice cream sandwich as much as it looks like gingerbread. It's very, it's similar to the FB09 leak that I reviewed uh, yesterday or two days ago. But uh, anyways, it is much smoother, much quicker, no red outline. Um, it's, it's definitely a lot better. They definitely got a lot more work working. As you can see, you go to About Phone, Android version 4.0.3, uh, build version FB17. So definitely we've got a working build, which is really great that uh, we got that going for us. Um, it could be potentially be a daily driver. The only thing I could find that didn't work was GPS. I went outside and froze and sat there for five minutes trying to get the GPS to lock on a clear night and it didn't. So uh, hopefully a developer comes up with a fix, probably, I'm sure Shabby Penguin will get things done. But anyways, um, uh, other than that, everything pretty much works. Go to my messages, as you can see, MMS working. Um, Shabby Penguin sent me a um, picture of Mr. Twiggles, <laughs> whatever that means. <laughs> Um, but other than that, I mean, you got different fixes. You got the 4G icon up at the top, as you can see. So you got 4G icon as opposed to nothing being there. The icons up at the top are pretty much all lined up now. Uh, the signal bars really don't work, so they don't show anything. So fortunately, for some reason, that doesn't work. My battery's low. <laughs> but uh, anyway, same uh, lock screen. Overall, really the same look as... Uh, the FB09 leak, but much, uh, much smoother. Everything's definitely working. Definitely check out my FB09 video um, if you would like to, because I go over a lot more things. Just be, I'm just saying these things because I would assume you watched my FB09 video uh, with the stock browser. Everything works pretty well, as you can see. Um, you can add a, a add a tab there if you want. Opens it on up. Um, same Samsung keypad as well as uh the swipe so you got those two options still let's try ac syndicate tonight i am on 3g as you can see 4g works as well actually let's try and connect to 4g i got for some reason somehow i got connected to 4g i pretty much never get connected to 4g here where i'm at now so let's go ahead and see i actually took a picture of it connected so i'll show you that picture to prove it so i'm not lying as you can see it's not connecting now but it did connect and it was uh it was working so as you can see stock browser works pretty well let's go ahead and check the market for the chrome chrome browser and see if uh, we can get that installed and try that out uh, and you can so cool you could try out chrome browser which is actually pretty nice let's go ahead and download that for us but overall as you can see pretty much a gingerbread look to it which is very disappointing as i said in my fb09 fb09 review video uh but anyways i do also want to try out the face and lock again i know all you guys like that it worked very well i'm very pleased with that so very excited uh, about that let's go ahead and try it out once again i'm going to go to security and i'm going to set it up screen lock face unlock, but let's go ahead and get this all set up. All right, so I apologize for the angle, but it is pretty much what is needed so I can get my face in there. But anyways, let's just go ahead and set it up, find an indoor spot, not too bright, not too dim. I am in a pretty dimly lit room right now. But let's just go ahead and hit continue and get it all set up. It should find my face. As you can see, it's finding it. Hopefully the camera is can see some of this. It's just recognizing my face. I'm getting my face in there. And as you can see, face captured. I'm gonna hit continue. I was very, very, very pleased with the, how well the FB09 leak worked with face unlock it. Basically right away it, it would unlock it even if you were on the move or if you were barely visible. So let's go ahead and try it out now. Um, just kind of hop right into it. See, I, my whole face wasn't even in there and it worked very well. So that's actually very exciting that uh, that's going. So overall, face unlock works very well. As All right, so overall, everything is pretty smooth. I will get some lag when I go through home screens. Um, it does lag a little bit sometimes, not all the time. So 
But anyways, you still have your swipe away, your notifications if you don't want to see them. I installed the Chrome uh, beta browser, so let's go ahead and check that out. I do have a full review video of the Chrome ice cream sandwich browser if you would like to uh, check that out. I will link to that in the description of the video, so definitely be sure to check out that because it's really nice actually. So let's go ahead and see uh, if it works. Let's try and go to google.com. Um, let's go ahead and go to it and as you can see it loads right up. Got some couple tabs there. New tab. Let's try different site. acsyndicate.net and it looks like that will load right up. I am still on 3G so please uh, patient with the browser web page load speeds but there you have it so uh, Chrome beta works very well so if you want to uh, try that out you can up oh, don't know looks like it's locking up I don't know what's going on Let's hit the home button still got the recent apps carousel going on let's try and go back into it and it looks like Chrome beta has locked up on me so not too sure what that's all about let's go ahead and try and go back into it now that I've I closed it out. Looks like it came back up and it looks like it's locked up again. So, looks like Chrome Beta is pretty buggy. You're gonna have to stick with the stock browser if you go, if you try and use this build. So, you can try it out. Maybe you'll get lucky with it. Maybe you won't. But other than that, that's really about it. GPS is the only thing I could not get working. Everything else works. Texting, picture messaging, calls. And that's, that's really it. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment on the video below. Uh, let me know if you really are unhappy like me that uh, it does not look like ice cream sandwich it looks more like gingerbread so yes i am pretty un pretty unhappy with that but that's about it be sure to subscribe to me follow me on facebook twitter and google plus all links will be in the description of the video below and as always thank you for watching be sure to give this video a thumbs up oh and also a lot of people were asking me about how i get my phone to stand up in the last uh review video i made um yes i am using my fly grip as you can see, it works very well. I will link to my review video to that in the description. But that's about it. Thanks for watching. Oh, and one more thing, one little hidden thing I forgot to mention. In the power menu, you have power off and restart options. And as when I power off, it actually makes a little noise. It didn't do that before, so let's go ahead and try it out. Let's power it on down. Hopefully you heard that, <laughs> but that, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys.